Hello, it's Deborah from Attic Lane, and today I want to show you four ways that you can use one die. This is a Hero Arts die that's recently been released, and I want to show you how you can do more with it than simply use it as one die. I'm using Imagination Crafts paints to create a background, and I'm going to brayer my background on. So to begin with, I'm taking these beautiful, creamy, lustrous, luxurious, shimmery paints, and I'm using a plastic spatula to apply them to my craft sheet. Um, between each application, I'll clean off my palette knife with um, a little baby wipe there. And I'll provide links to the colours that I've used below the video. Once I've put them on my mat, I'm going to use my brayer. Um, I'm going to roll my brayer up and down in the same direction before applying the paint to a plain white piece of cardstock. I use these paints an awful lot because it means I no longer have to buy glittery card or shimmery card. I can make exactly the shade of card that I want using these paints. This is giving me a beautiful central band of blue and then green on the outside. I'm going to do exactly the same with these uh, red and pink paints and I'll show you that in a later card. For this first card, I have to apologise for the light on the bouncing off the plastic case. Um, it's a little bit awkward for the first section of this video, but then it will improve. I'm using Pebio Gilding Waxes, and again, I will provide links, and I'm using two colours. I've, <laughs> I'm using a plastic glove because this does tend to stain your fingers, and the reason that I'm using the plastic, uh, that's a piece of plastic packaging that I've put some of the wax onto, is because it makes it um, more... It keeps it usable. It doesn't dry up on a craft sheet or on something else. It keeps it really usable and malleable. So I've used two colours. I've used a soft gold and a reddish gold. And once you um, polish this up, just burnish it a little bit with a, a cloth or, or a, a piece of kitchen roll, it gives you the most fantastic metal effect. It is truly beautiful. And I hope the camera does justice to it. I've used a piece of parchment paper and I've used a pencil to go around the outside edge and now I'm going to cut that out and I've used my glue pen to go around the really thin filigree elements of this to stick the die cut to the piece of parchment paper without it showing through. And now I'm going to apply some instant high tack tape and I'm going to fold it onto my base card. I'm going to trim this down to size and once I've taken off a little strip of uh, excess card at the bottom of this I'm going to take a white top folding card and I'm going to attach this to the top folding card. I'm using my high tack tape runner and trusting that I, I get it on straight. And I've had to cut off a little excess from the white card, but that's fine. So your card could be complete like that, or you can add things, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm using, um, I don't know how you say this word, this is a Swedish company, I believe, called Gummiapan. They make beautiful dyes. I'll provide a link to their dyes. I've got some uh, red glittery washi tape. I've applied two layers just to a piece of card, and I've cut out my heart. I do like this sharp, primitive heart. It's a very beautiful style of heart. This is some very thin gold filigree thread and I hope that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to punch a hole. This is my little foam punch that whenever I, I make a hole in anything I use that to protect my mat. And I'm going to punch a little hole just in the central uh, piece of the die that sticks into the middle of the card because I'm going to thread through some gold filigree thread and I'm going to tie it so that I have um, two ties on either side of my card. Must apologise, I'm very snuffly still at the moment, so I'm, I'm trying not to sound too horrible and diseased. I've taken some of my gold thread and I'm wrapping it around the heart to add some extra interest to my heart. I already put some double-sided tape on the reverse of the heart to help me hold the thread in place. I'm using my glue pen to go around some of the filigree elements on the inside of my die cut. So this is going onto the parchment and all I want to do is stop the doors uh, flapping. I want them to have a little bit of adhesion to the card underneath but I don't want them to be stuck down firmly. I'm using the two ties of thread that I attached to the die cut to go underneath the heart 
which again has got double sided tape on the reverse of it to help it stick in place and I'm going to tie them across the front of the heart and I'll tie them into a little bow and cut off the excess. It's very detailed, it's very fine and I hope that you'll be able to see it when I do some close-ups uh, on this card later in the video. I'm taking two of the smaller hearts from the Gumia Pan die set and I'm going to stick them above and below the heart. And with that, my card is finished. I think that's quite an unusual exotic looking card. For my second card I've taken a piece of plain white card and I'm going to score this so that I create um, a folded card so the fold is in the centre. I'm not sure if I should call that a gatefold card or if that's something else. I'm going to use another of my beautiful Imagination Crafts paints and I'm going to use a paintbrush to apply this just to the outside flaps of the card and I've got a piece of waste card there in the middle just to stop myself going onto the reverse of the card. I want that to be kept plain white. It gives the most beautiful shimmer. Really lovely pearlized finish. I've cut out two of the die pieces from plain white card and I'm going to use my glue pen to go around the filigree again on the inside so that I can stick it straight on to my white pearlized finish and this time I'm using the die the other way around so the straight edge goes against the central panel of the card. Like that. I'm taking my cropper dial and I'm going to add two holes so that I can thread through a little piece of white ribbon and I'm using two of the holes from the die that are slightly higher than central. At this stage I'm closing the card by putting the ribbon through and tying it into a bow but you could add any sentiment you wanted to the inside whatever is appropriate to the occasion maybe that's a wedding maybe it's engagement this card is, is absolutely perfect for that and it's very simple and quick to do as well. Card 3 will be made using two die cuts from a piece of card that I created with my Imagination Crafts paints where I used the red and the pink and you can see the effect as the paints move from pink to red on the on the filigree piece and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and I'm going to cut it right down the center it hurt me a little bit to do this at first but I thought I'm doing this for the greater good so it's justified and I'm going to reassemble this in a different shape and it's just another way of using the die so that you're not restricted to to how it is presented you can vary it and use it in any way that you want I'm going to trim down my craft card which is my base card for this and I'm going to see if I want to put something in the centre and I've decided to use a Gumia Pan heart and I've used some of this Tim Holtz silver and gold uh, craft back paper to do that. I want to add some dimensions so I'm using my foam sheet, I'm using a black version of my foam sheet which I use quite a lot and I'm going to cut the die from that, that will give me a little depth and then I'll cut another piece from the same gold sheet as I used before. I'll glue them together then I'll stick that onto my central gold heart in the middle of my card and that's my card finished and you can add a sentiment or not as you choose. For my final card I'm going to use some of the gold craft backed paper again from the pad that I used earlier and I'm using my cottage cuts dies to uh, gut the centre of this because it's such a beautiful card I don't want to waste it. I'm going to use that little piece later on. For now I'm going to glue my frame onto a craft base card. Now that that's in place I can glue the top piece of craft card which is cut slightly smaller. Now I have a piece of uh, the die cut which I've cut from gold and I've got another piece which isn't the full piece but it doesn't matter because what I'm going to do this time for this card is I'm going to cut away some of the excess and I'm going to change the shape of the die so that what I'm left with is a flourish and I'm going to cut one flourish from each of the uh, little pieces of die cut that I've got. So there's the first piece. I've cut the second piece and I'm going to show you two ways you could link these. You could do it across your card diagonally or you could do what we're going to do and you could create a corner flourish. So I'm going to turn them around, I'm going to make them match up with each other 
and I'm going to use this glue to glue it into place. This is a zig glue and I found this was a bit easier to dab the glue onto the reverse rather than use my uh, glue pen which takes quite a while to go around these fancy twiddly bits. I'm going to secure that in place and I'm going to put a little piece of white card over so that I can squash it down completely flat without risk of disturbing the uh, little tiny pieces. If they stick up sometimes you can catch them. I'm using my Gumia Pan heart die again to cut out some dies and I'm also going to use the side of this strip of uh, paper that I've already cut out to, to give me a very very thin strip, almost like a ribbon. I'm going to use that to attach the heart to the design. I'm going to work out how long I need that piece of uh, gold ribbon to be and then I'll cut it down to size and I'll glue it into place. I'm using some of the really tiny little hearts from that die set just to go around the outside of the design. I've got some Nouveau crystal drops, these are red, and I'm going to pop some of these into the centre of some of the holes left in the filigree die. That will add a little bit extra interest to it, but already you can see how glittery and shiny that is. Very simple card. I'm going to leave you now with some close-ups of all the cards that we've made today. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.